Hello and welcome Libra. This is your October 2023 general reading with myself, Thomas Janak. Please like, subscribe and share because that is what helps the channel grow. And if my readings um, resonate with you, if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's www.buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Much appreciated. So, Libras, what we do here, we will look at the overall energy for the months ahead before we then look into your emotional core, see if there's healing that needs to happen, if there's love coming in, that sort of stuff. Um, and then we will look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the months of October 2023 for your very sign. I'm just going to ask the guides to give me what I need for the sections, as I call them. It's just easier when I, when I separate them a little. I find it is a bit easier to understand. But in the end and at the end of the day, um, nothing happens sort of in isolation. And I just want you to understand that. So, you know, sometimes when, what, whatever the guides are saying to you, you know, is overlapping. In any case, when it comes to the overall energy for the month of October 2023, for the sign of Libra, you have the first house, which is about yourself, and you have heart. So what the guides are saying to you is, and this may not be super easy for Libra because you are a sign that looks for balance and harmony, and because the depiction of your sign is an old-fashioned scale, and the scale doesn't really work unless there's a counterbalance. So you enjoy being there for others, which sometimes does your nut in. So the point the guides are making this month, in October 2023, you are being asked to only focus, literally only focus, on what it is you want and follow your heart, no matter where it leaves you, when you have no care in the world for whoever burdens you usually. Now, that is a big ask for uh, Librans, Librans. But understand that, please. Um, people sometimes do not understand when you get tired uh, because you're saying it very late. It's quite simple. And all the guides are saying is, do yourself the favor in October 2023 to be much more aware about what it is you want. And when you then go for what you want and do what you want, people can see that you're moving away and that is what is needed to bring about change because there are things here that's the reason why you're being asked in the first place that need to change in order for your energy to be able to sustain itself okay that was your overall energy for the month of october 2023 now we're looking at your emotional core before we do this, I just want to share with you that I am an executive producer for a, an online magazine called Brains. And it's a uh, magazine that is um, interesting in the sense that they contact people that they have identified as knowledgeable um, and handpick people to write for them. And they contacted me uh, because of my spiritual work. And I have started writing articles uh, for their magazine. you find the, um, the link to the magazine in the description box below. would really love for you to actually have a look. It's totally free of charge. They're not going to charge you anything. It's an online magazine um, after all. And um, please find my um, my thingy box there. What are they called? Articles. <laughs> all right. So thank you so much. And now, without further ado, we are looking at your emotional core. The emotional core is always about whether or not there is some healing that needs to happen and whether or not there's love coming in or what needs to be altered or changed or manifested for that very person. Now, this is very interesting. This is massively interesting here because the exact same two cards came up in the reading for the sign before Libra, which is Virgo. That is interesting because that tells me that Virgo and Libra this month have a lot of overlapping energy. I'm just saying this because if you have a Virgo in your life that is close to you, this month you have a much better chance of sorting stuff out with them simply because you have the exact same cards in the exact same position which is not that common 
in any case, what you do have, uh, and anyway, um, you know, should you now go and watch the Virgo uh, uh, reading after this, it's still not the same message. Just because you have the same cards, you know, doesn't really, it's does not the same message that Virgo has been given when it comes to um, the, the eighth house. Because for the most part, the eighth house is about sexual pleasure. Um, in your case, that's not what the guides uh, want to talk to you about. What the guides are saying to you is being free in all areas of your life, and some of them might might be uh, sexual, if that makes sense, but being really free is super important for you this month. So when it comes to what you feel from the heart and what your emotions tell you, that's, and again, remember your overall energy was to, to look and go after what it is you want and only prioritize yourself. The same has to apply or to apply to your emotional core. At this point in time, Libra, I do not get the message for you or see um, issues with a lot of feeling that needs to happen. This is more about reflecting on what isn't working, why do I feel this way, and then uh, converse about it. This is really, really important. Okay, and that's all that is for your emotional core. And then lastly, we are, we are going for um, the uh, opportunities as they present themselves to you. And again, just like in the reading for Virgo this very month, one of the two energies here is overlapping. So again, that is just the way of the universe saying to me and therefore for me to say to you, watch the Virgos in your life. Now, what is important here is to not watch for the people that have Virgo as their rising signs or in any other part of their birth chart. This is about people that have the zodiac slash star sign of Virgo. Virgos. Not Virgo with the moon in Virgo, if that makes sense, right? Ascendant in Virgo, all that kind of stuff. No. This is about people that are by default saying, oh yeah, I was born in the sign of Virgo. That's the people they're asking you um, to pay extra attention to because if there is a Virgo in your life, I'm sort of <laughs> tempted to call them true Virgos. Really, really funny. Um, these are the people that you can do a lot of soul uh, searching with this very month. Okay, ready? So you have the North Node and you have the planet of Ceres. Until 1948, there is a, um, can't remember for the life of me what the name is called, but there is a, a society that has been founded in Paris, um, the astronomical unit something, can't remember. These are the people that decided that uh, Pluto is no longer a, a, a a proper planet, but it's now a 12th planet in, in, in 2006. Anyway, that very uh, association um, thing counted Ceres, and Ceres is actually a meteorite, as a true planet until 1948. And this all has to do with the fact that when you then have better telescopes, you can see things better, and then, you know, as your perception changes, things change. Bottom line is, what we're looking at is that is, um, we're looking at the energy of being demoted, even if Ceres doesn't give a flying fuck about it, right? So, what the guides are saying to you, when it comes to opportunities, the moment you have the feeling that the people that you're now looking for, for opportunities, feel exactly the same as the people you have already worked with, that is a red flag. Your energy here is about, I'm going where I haven't been before, I'm dealing with people, even if you want to stay in the, in the area of expertise that you already possess. Um, it has to feel totally different. And that is interesting because you have um, the North Node, which is your future energy, has the number 34, 4 and 3 is 7, 7 is the highest number of protection and healing. The card that houses the planet of Ceres, you know, the, the meteorite rather, has the number 29. 9 and 2 is 11. Highest master number there is. So what the guides are saying is this is about going somewhere where you are, where you can actually nurture yourself while you're sustaining yourself uh, financially, if that makes sense. Now here, remember, 
you can't really manifest money. What you can manifest is abundance and wealth and all that kind of stuff, but money by default is sort of a an energy that doesn't quite work for the universe. You have to just tell them, you know, uh, and, and sort of um, you have to manifest everything as though it is already yours because it is. Okay, so the point I'm getting here is is to not chase after opportunities just because on paper they would give you more that you can buy stuff with. Now is not the time to look for wealth. And it is an interesting thing to say that because um, just looking around where I live, all the prices are going up. Everybody goes insane when you go to a shop that, that once was quite reasonable and you kind of go like, whoa, these are more than, than uh, um, prices that normally one of those, uh, um, what they called, uh, petrol stations would have, you know, I'm not talking okay, petrol stations, but you know, petrol stations used to be three times more expensive than the bloody Astra or something, right? <laughs> so, point is, I understand that there's a bit of pressure now um, because uh, abundance is not so easy to come by, and yet, disregarding it totally, it comes with a price. So, if you go somewhere that pays well, um, but you're not really happy there, and the, more and the most important thing here is where you're not appreciated because the demoting, the demotion part, being demoted part here, is about being not appreciated. And that's what you have to understand. You go for where you are accepted and where you can make a mark because you're being listened to and not where things look great because now all of a sudden you get a week off and they're giving you a bloody laptop. <laughs> right? Please understand that you are, you are, you are, you are Libra. You are into you are looking for harmony and balance. If you go somewhere where there's a lot of stress and nobody really cares about you because they will get will just get someone else when you are not available, that's not the energy you need, Libra. Okay? That's all I got, my friends. Again, you are watching Thomas's Tower readings. Please like, subscribe, and share. It really, really is important. Um, and also, what I what I hardly ever get for whatever reason is comments. So if you like the reading, let me know, right? And if you thought I was totally shit, let me know, and I will just block you. <laughs> so point is, I would love for you to be a bit more interactive with my channel um, because it does get a bit lonely when you record all these videos that I record here uh, for you. Um, with, with, with little to no feedback. Okay, that was me pleading to you. And now I hope I see you next time. Bye-bye.